Love it or hate it, Amazon has been a defining brand in putting Seattle on the map. And lucky for us, when they want to try out something new, our community gets to test it first. In today's video, we will be checking out Amazon's newest innovation, the Amazon Go grocery store. In early 2018, Amazon launched Amazon Go. It's a cashierless store. Coming in at about 1,200 to 2,400 square feet, it's a little over the size of a gas station and fits into people's lives like a bodega or a small corner store, mainly for conveniences. Amazon Go Grocery is taking that cashierless concept and more than tripling it in size to create a convenient one-stop shop to do all of your grocery shopping. So let's check it out. So in order to go into the Amazon Go store, you do need the app because that's the one thing that you scan to get in. You don't need your wallet. No more wallet, but you do need your phone. Just go into the app store and hit Amazon Go. It shows you what we're gonna do. It's like when you go on an airplane with a mobile boarding pass and you just kind of scan it and then you just sign into your Amazon account. So I'm gonna do that really quick because who doesn't have an Amazon account these days? Fun fact, if you work for Amazon, they don't give you Amazon Prime for free. And now here is what the screen looks like. They give you a QR code, you scan it like we talked about. Other things they have is a little discover thing, select your store. Whoa, I didn't know there's like, is that, there's six of them now? Where else do they have them? Oh, they have some in San Francisco and New York. That's cool. Comment below if you've been to the one in other cities. I'd love to know. It also shows you receipts. So I have a receipt from Monday, February 5th, 2018 from the last time I went to an Amazon Go store. I'll have that video linked below. That's when the very first one originally opened. So the new Amazon Go grocery store, first of its kind full-size grocery store is located in the Capitol Hill neighborhood of Seattle. You guys have probably heard me talk about it. It's pretty trendy. It's a happening place. There's lots of bars and restaurants and a lot of people live over here. I think this neighborhood neighborhood's gonna really benefit from having a convenient store like this. So, let's go. Oh, it's right there. The new Amazon Go grocery store is 10,400 square feet. For reference, the original Amazon Go stores are around 1 to 2,000 square feet. A Trader Joe's is usually around 8 to 10,000 square feet, and Whole Foods sits around 40,000 square feet. So how does it work? There are hundreds of sensors on the ceiling that track your every move. If you pick up an item, it's in your cart. If you put it back, it's no longer in your cart. Or at least that's how it's supposed to work. Did I put a whisk in my cart? Wait, I don't think I... Looking at my, oh my God! You'll have to stay tuned to see my experience. I think I found a little flaw in the new store. So you grab what you need, you walk right out, and you will receive a receipt of your transactions within about five minutes of leaving the store. Sounds easy, right? Let's see if it is. Organic bananas, 25 cents each. All right, I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Okay, the real test here is how good are their avocados? I mean, perfectly right. $1.59, that's a fair price. Got two good avos. This is the kind of stuff at the grocery store is so annoying to have to check out. Sorry. No, you're fine, I mean, you're right. <laughs> Do they have Ezekiel bread? The real test. It's my favorite bread. All the best grocery stores have it. Although it probably, oh, they have it. Whoa. Good job, Amazon. Honestly, so far this is reminding me exactly of the other Amazon Go stores. It doesn't feel that much bigger to me. We're gonna stop by the very first Amazon Go store that ever opened. It is here in South Lake Union, right by the Spears, as you can see. We'll do a literally quick walkthrough. Here we go. This feels like a tiny home in comparison to the other one. Way smaller. But I guess the difference maker will be in everyday household items. So let's see what they have there. Oh, they have some Amazon basic stuff. Oh, this is so handy, actually. Oh, an iPhone charger for only $6.99? That's so good. What? I'm getting it. Wow, look at those. 
day. This is a fun section. They've got some meal kits. Wait, they have like a quick little grab and go lunch section. Some sushi. Ooh, this is cool. Quinoa corn salad. Tofu. Some vegan options. We got some Beecher's cheese. Little salads. I like this. I like this kind of stuff. It makes it so easy to grab something and be really healthy. Salmon sesame power bowl. Interesting. I think I'm gonna get this. Just like any grocery store, right here's the exit. Right near the exit, they have this section that has like all your classic grocery store stuff, like mints, gum, some classic American candies. By the way, you guys, with your QR code, you can scan other people in, which means if they pick up anything, you're paying for it. So imagine being a little kid and going with your parents to the store and sneaking some candy in your pocket. Like, what a time to be alive, right? I think this is good. I think this is all that I need. I just got a notification for my receipt from being in the store, so let's check it out. I got a total of 15 items for $52. So here we can see how it all adds up here. Oh, I ended up getting a whisk. Why did I get a whisk? I don't need a whisk. I put it in my, did I put a whisk in my cart? Wait, I don't think I, I swear I didn't. I think they charged me for the whisk and I, no, I think I see a whisk in here. No, I did not get the whisk. Swear to you. I whisk. <gasps> they charged me for the whisk. You guys, the Amazon Go Store doesn't work. Yo, what the heck? I swear to you, I did not get the whisk, but I grabbed it. So there we have it. I was charged $3, which is a great price for a whisk. I'll give them that. But I did not put a whisk in my basket. So the system can be a little bit flawed. When I was in the store, I was picking up and putting down a lot of stuff. Over here, you can see me in the section with the whisk. I was being super careless about it and just picking up whatever, but I did put the whisk back in the correct spot. Yep, just checked, I, I did put the whisk back in the normal spot. So I guess it's a little flaw. At the very bottom of your receipt, you can contact them. They're calling Amazon Go customer service. Thank you for calling the Amazon Go. My name is Jenny. I actually just went in the store and got charged for a product that I didn't walk out with. Um, okay, let me access the trip here. Which item on this? It was the wire whisk. There's Good Cook Classic Balloon Whisk. I'm removing it right now. Hang tight. Cool. So it, within the app, too, you can actually do that yourself. The item up on your screen, you would swipe left on it, and that would automatically just remove it from your receipt. All right, so your new total is going to be $47.93, minus, you know, with the whisk taken off of there. Sound good? Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Well, that was super easy. Apparently, yeah, you can literally just swipe. Requ oh, you can request a refund. I'm dumb. Okay, well, there we have it. If an error does happen, they're very nice and quick and easy to address the error. I have no complaints. So it's a couple days later, I genuinely have run out of food. I need to do my weekly grocery shopping. So I have my list and we're gonna see if I can go to the Amazon Go store and actually get everything that I need or if there are some discrepancies and if going to a normal grocery store is just still more convenient. able to get in and out of there with everything that I had on my list that I needed. Let's see, Amazon Go, receipts. Looking at my, oh my God! What, I got, I'm not even making 
this up. I got charged for the whisk again. I picked one up to see if it would do it. I legitimately, I'm gonna pick up a whisk. Do, do, do. Got charged for the whisk again. Amazon, you need to fix your whisks. There it is, whisk charge. So I'm gonna request a refund request i didn't take it okay so i instantly got my money back for that don't pick up whisks at the amazon go store i'm telling you now let's talk about prices so here's something i thought was super interesting whole foods is owned by amazon and so i compared some of the items that whole foods also carries versus amazon go and actually amazon go was selling them for cheaper so here we have some kombucha that is for sale for about a dollar less justin's peanut butter for a dollar less. These kind brand clusters for a couple dollars less. Even the organic lemons were a little bit less. Wild sockeye salmon for less. And the avocados were 50 cents. It's kind of all over the place though. Like these razors were you know, fairly competitively priced compared to other retailers out there. And the band-aids were the exact same price. So overall, I think the prices were actually pretty fair, especially when you're considering this is a convenience corner market type of situation. Usually these sorts of stores skyrocket their prices because they know they can, because you're paying for the convenience. But in this case, Amazon Go kept their prices pretty fair. The only issue that I had and thought was really funky with the pricing was this chicken I bought. So I needed some chicken and this was the only option that was available. And as you can see, it was $9.99 for a little over half a pound, which is absurd. I couldn't find this brand online anywhere either. So comparing it to another bougie brand that Whole Foods sells, this is one I've purchased before. You know, it's free range, the chicken lived a great life, that sort of thing. This is $8.99, which is still pretty pricey, but you're getting double the amount of meat. Also, you can compare it to Whole Foods value brand where you can get $3.99 a pound for chicken. So why is this chicken $10 for a little over half a pound? I have no idea, it's so weird. In general, their poultry, meat, and seafood section is really lacking since it's such a small store. You know, they don't have the amenity of having a butcher there to freshly cut something for you how you want it or fillet a fish for you how you want it or marinate it for you. It's all prepackaged vacuum sealed stuff, which doesn't bother me too much but that might be a deal breaker for some people. And for some reason, the prices were just absurdly high on only this stuff. So I thought that was really weird. My final thoughts on the Amazon Go store is it honestly feels like a mini Whole Foods without cashiers. It sells a lot of the same brands, but it also includes bigger mainstream brands that Whole Foods wouldn't sell, so it's even more convenient for the everyday consumer. I thought it was a really easy store to navigate, and I actually loved how it's much smaller than most grocery stores. I found they had everything that I needed, and if I couldn't find something, I was bound to find it pretty quickly because the store is so small. Overall, I like this concept. I think Amazon has a good thing going. It's a fun place to check out. It is quite the novelty to get to walk out of a store and feel like you stole some items. Who knows, one day that is just gonna be the future, and we're going to be totally used to it. Maybe our kids are going to be like, what do you mean there were cashiers? What's that? I, I don't know. It's crazy. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to see my first impressions of the very first Amazon Go store that opened, I'll have that linked below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at Monica Church. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.